hello guys welcome to a new series on this channel so in this series we'll be trying to complete the Eternaut challenge so um this this series you need to know a little bit of javascript to understand and to follow up with everything here so this i'm using the solidity version 5 but um to use the version 4 if you land with version 4 you can just remove this and this is version 4 here but I'm using the version 6, which is this URL. And uh, we'll start with this. They say the Eternal is a web terror based war game inspired by this person, and that each level is a smart contract that needs to be hacked. So, for every level here, we are trying to hack smart contracts. So, we should start now by clicking play now. So, we should set up MetaMask, um, go to browser, set up MetaMask. I have MetaMask installed. I'll just switch this. This. This is Robston testnet, I guess. Okay, auto reload is on. Shit. Okay, so this is it. Set up MetaMask and I already have it installed. At this run link. I already have MetaMask installed right here. And, um, oh shit. Okay, and, um, open the browser console using two developers. Just press on this is F12 to do that. And, as you can see, we have the player address, which is the address, my address, and the Ethernet address, which is the contract address. And um, just type in player, which is the address, my address, and we can get the balance of player. Okay. And it just awaits this. It's a promise. And just await this, which is four points. And uh, we can type in help. Let's see the help right here. So the player is to get the current player address, set out the main game contract, level to get the current level address, contract to get the current level contract address. Okay, instance. Instance to get the current level instance. Let me just do this and see. Okay. Okay. Current game version, get balance, get block number, send transaction, and get network ID. Okay. So Enter the flame command at the console. We should do this. And we get this. This is a contract, this is a trough contract. And we can see the address. And we can see the methods. These are the methods here. It's owner. These are the solidity methods. And um, we can interact with the ABI. Yeah. They're not. I'm going to the contract ABI. Type the flame command, for example. So we are getting the instance and we're getting a method from this. So if you do like this, we get the owner of the contract. I always forget to add a weight. This is a weight. What the fuck is wrong with me? Okay, so this is the owner, the person who created this contract. This is the owner address. And we can call any function right here. But um, let's see, let's see. You can get some test etab via in case you just need to wait for your MetaMask and stuff. You can go over to this facet website and um, you can generate test etab. I won't be giving because I have um, four and above. So once you reach four, they won't give you any more etab. So, um, what kind of am I using? So don't give you any more ETA, but I have four ETA, so I don't need more ETAs. I can just close this. Once you go there, you can generate ETA for your testnet. Then we need to get the level instance. When playing a level, you don't interact directly with the Ethernet contract. Instead, you ask it to generate a new instance for you. To do so, click the blue button at the bottom of the page. Do it and come back. So we go create new instance. And you be asked to authenticate in one send this transaction. I'll just click confirm and it has sent the transaction. We can over go over here and see the transaction. <coughs> this is our test testnet, it's still pending. Okay, the transaction has been completed. So you know that this is playing a new contract and the blockchain might take a few seconds. Okay, this transaction has been completed, be mind if we should check transaction right here is success so we can inspect the contract which we just created right now using the contract variable let's see hopefully you guys can see this stuff 
it's also a truffle contract and um, it has its methods so you can do this to look into the levels info I see I think we need to await this shit. you find what you're looking for in the info one method we we'll find what we're looking for in the info one method. So this is called the info one method. Info one. Try info two. So right now we have already started playing the game. So we should try info two, but with hello as parameter. So we can pass in hello here. The proper info norm holds the number of the next. This is the property. It holds the next function to call. So we can get the property. Since it's the property, we can just do info norm. Okay, what's the phone number? And um, this is a big number. It's forty-two. We can just convert this to a to a distance to a number, so we can see the number. But I'm sure it's forty-two that's there. So the method we are trying to call is um, the next info method. So we are calling forty-two. Forty-two. Let's see. Hopefully we are correct. The method name is the name of the next method. So the method name the name the method name is this I just copy this and do the same if you know the password submit it to authenticate and if you know the password submit it to authenticate then according to our um contract right here there's a method called password so we we'll just try calling that password hopefully the password is there we just go password. So this is the password. We've gotten the password, and we have to submit it to authenticate. Meaning authenticate takes the password, I guess. Who is authenticate? It authenticates, and um, it takes it takes the password, I guess. So we can do this. Passing the password right here, and instead of password, we use authenticate. Authenticate. Spell that correctly, right? Um, let's see. Yes, it would increase the gas price. So this will go faster. I'll confirm this. I will just pause this video first. So be mind. I'll just pause this video so that this can be mind. Okay, so it's been confirmed, and this page should reload with a success. Um, just taking time. Okay, yeah, so that's next. And once we have, once we feel like we've completed the level, we should submit the contract using the orange button, which is this. And this send your instance back to the Ethernet, which will determine if you've completed it. So let's try submitting. I, I hope we've completed it. And also we we'll mind this transition. I should just increase this. Increase this. We'll confirm. Okay, it's been confirmed. Yeah, as you can see right here, congratulations, we completed the tutorial. Now, now the solidity code is available for us. And then once we go over here, this is the code. As you can see, there's a... The error of this code was to have the password as a public variable. If the password was private, we couldn't have accessed it and we would have known the password. But it was a public variable and that was why it was easy to call from outside and we got the password. All this other method are just to get us to know how this Ethernet works. But the, the, the goal was to get the password which they made public. So a point to take away from this is when declaring an authentication kind of system, never make the password public. Although all variables are um, visible, but it's harder to get a variable that is private. Than to get a variable that's public and also i think it's better if you be caching your passwords like don't just leave a password to be an empty string maybe convert it to a byte or something else or use the one of these hash makers in solidity to hash your password i think that's all for this video so in the next video we'll be doing this fallback 
this is level one and um, I'll see you in the next video